Hi there, in this video we are going to talk about rounding a number to a significant figure. Now the reason we round numbers, and you see it in the news every day, is to make a number easily understandable, uh, for us to understand the rough size of the number quickly. So, for example, suppose we uh, had the number 73,538. Let's use that number to talk about what a significant figure means. Now, when you're dealing with significant figures, you look at a number from the left to the right. And the first significant figure is the first number you see as you look from left to right. So that's the 7. So this number is a 7, and it's actually in the 10 thousands column. So this is in the 10 thousands column. And the first significant figure we see is 70, which represents, in this case, 70,000. OK? Now, the second significant figure is the second number we see as we uh, go along. So that will be the 3. And that's in the thousands column. So the second significant figure represents thousands. There are three of them, so it's 3,000. The third significant figure is the next number we see along, which is in the hundreds column. And uh, so there's 500, so it represents 500. The fourth significant figure is in the tens column, and there are three of them, so it represents 30. And the fifth significant figure is the, in the units column, in the ones column, and it represents 8. So a significant figure, if this number here, um, the first significant figure is the ten thousands column, the second significant figure is the th thousands column, the third is the hundreds column, the fourth is the tens column, and the last, the fifth one, is the units column. Okay, so now we're going to use that knowledge in order to do particular questions. So let's have a go using this number at some questions. So here's a So we're going to take uh, the number 73,538 and we're going to round it uh, to, let's say, one significant figure. We're going to round it to one significant figure. So we look at the first significant figure and it's sevens. So this question is asking us to round the number 73,538 to the nearest 10,000. because it's the first significant figure. Now, the nearest 10,000 to this, well, our options are clearly either 80,000 or 70,000. Now, which of these is the nearest? Well, clearly it's 70,000. So 70,000 is this rounded to one significant figure. And we're done. Example, same number. We have 73,000 538, and this time we're rounding it to two significant figures. The second significant figure is the 3, which is in the thousands column. OK? So the question is, what's the nearest thousand to this number? Now our options are either 74,000 or they're 73,000. And I think you'll clearly see that 74,000 is nearer because 538 is nearer, uh, brings us nearer to the 74,000 than the 73,000. So the answer is then 74,000 to two significant figures. Okay, let's continue going then with this. Example three. 73,538 to three significant figures. Now, the third significant figure, as we look that way, is clearly the five, which is in the hundreds column. So what's the nearest 100 to that number? Well, our options are 73,600 or 73,500. And I think you can see that 73,500 is closer because 538 is closer to 500 than 600. So here's our answer. So our answer is 73,500 to three significant figures. 
Okay, and we'll continue going till the end of this number for four. Seventy-three thousand five hundred thirty-eight to four significant figures. You'll see the fourth significant figure is the three, which is in the tens column. So, what's the nearest ten? Our options are going to be seventy-three thousand five hundred and forty, or seventy-three thousand five hundred and thirty. And thirty-eight is closer to forty than it is to thirty, so that's our answer. So 73540 is our final answer. And we'll do the very last question here. Um, well, th that's it for now. That's all we'll do for these examples here. So that was how to round uh, to a certain number of significant figures. Now attempt the questions in class. Thanks for watching.